Hi right, Tubes. Got something a little different today. We got this uh, 18 foot boat. Belongs to a good friend of mine and uh, he's getting water. Water in his oil and spark plugs and everything so I got my head mechanic working on it down here. Here I am. A little racer. What does it look like? You think I was taking a bunch of oil out of, uh, out of number three cylinder. It's, it's, it's looking to me like it's a head gasket. Okay yeah. We took the plugs out. This this one had some water on it, but this one here was a number three. I'm gonna go out here in the sun because it's pretty dark under the shade. I hooked my buddy up with the uh, sunshade there because it's hot as hell out here. But uh, this plug here was uh, really wet. So, like Racer says, we think it's a, a head gasket, and, and hopefully it's not too much trouble. It's either a head gasket or it's, it's the intake gasket on the side. Right. But we won't know until we take take uh, half the engine apart. Yeah. But the the oil pan is full of oil. Well, I mean, full, full of water. Pull the disc out, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. It goes all, all that water on there. It goes all the way up to there. My God. Oh well. All right. So this is a I believe it's a six cylinder. Uh, looks like a Chevy S10 or something. Chevy. Yeah. Maybe heavy duty. I don't know, but uh, hopefully we just have to change the head gasket. But uh, got my best mechanic on it, so like I guess I hooked this uh, tent up for him. It's made it a little cooler. Oh, looks like this is bent under. There we go. And I hooked a little fan up for him. So he's uh, about as comfortable as we can get. So uh, let's uh, continue working, and we'll uh, keep you up to date on this one. It's a Mercury. What do you call this thing, uh, racer? Mercury Cruiser? Merc Cruiser? What, the engine? Yeah. Uh, Merc Cruiser. Merc Cruiser. 4.3 liter. 4.3. Alright. We'll keep you up to date. Uh, what are you taking off there now, buddy? It's the manifold. Exhaust manifold. So it's coming off pretty easy, huh? Yeah. It's actually pretty loose. Huh. That's a good thing. Yeah. Might have been a bad thing, but it's good for us. You don't want these bolts to be seized up. No. It's funny, this thing's always in salt water. And they're not seized up, but you get a, a regular car, you take the manifold off, every single bolt's rusted in place. All right. Sounds like it might have broke loose. Here we go. Let's hope nothing else is holding it on. No. Was it made out of aluminum? No. Cast? It'd be cast. Holy Christ. Uh, what yeah, about the... I loosened that up, but... Did you? Hmm. It's uh, probably stuck on any screwdriver. Alright. Gotta get a screwdriver loosen the rubber. It goes. Wow. I've heard some people call them risers. I don't know if that's uh, the right name for them or what. But it is just all oh, it is is an exhaust manifold. Pretty interesting looking from the back. Huh. Very interesting, huh? Yeah, what year is this boat? Uh, I think it's 97. Hopefully we can get these parts right to yeah, right auto through. parts. Hopefully it still uses an engine in the S10 or something. Yeah. At least we'll find a place that has them. Right. I was just reading they're going to stop making the, the Ford Ranger. Really? Yeah. Because huh. a lot of the companies already stopped making little trucks. You know, like Tacoma's there. They're big. Yeah, it's crazy. It is. I, I like the tiny truck. All right, we're going to have to look into this a little more. Ready? I just started up. We're going to do a compression test. You start it up, and, and water comes shooting out two cylinders. So you might have one cylinder left. Try that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, man. I think we might have bigger problems than we think. Is that a dead battery? Yeah. Oh, our tool's wet. All right, racers, uh, he's taking the plugs out of the other side here to see what's going on. And it looks like that side's okay. There's uh, there's no water on these plugs, but I don't get it. If you if you got a bad head gasket or something, usually it's only one cylinder. Let's see this one. Like I said, it might have pushed through. 
Yeah. Bridge on each side. Well, this one's wet. Yeah. I just uh, I just shot some water out of it. I might get that over here. Oh, well, I hope so. It's not as wet as the other ones are. No. We might have bigger problems than we we anticipate, but we won't know until we get this thing halfway apart. We're going to take a compression test on it, but I don't want to mess up my gauge with all that water in there. Uh, we got all the wires and everything disconnected from the intake. Now uh, we've got to take the distributor out. Got all wires laid and living like that. Not that he needs to, it just makes it easier to look and grab instead of having to figure out which is which. Alright, we'll take a look at that when we take it out. Look who showed up. You say, kid? Hey. This is dark bike, 5100. Alright, I think he's uh, ready to pull it. What's up? <laughs> pull the distributor, I meant. Put that back. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Tubes aren't gonna like this. No. I don't know if you can see it down there, but what am I looking at? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh the distributor man. shaft. Pull it out, we'll be able to see it once we get some light. Can't pull it out too far this kind of wire. Hmm. This must have been like this for a while, huh buddy? Get sludge like that. It's water sludge, yeah. Wow. This can't get wide again. Alright, you know, I got a better look at it from this side, man. Look at the sludge on that. You know, oil and water make sludge. You know, they don't mix. It's going to be a mess to clean up. I wonder if we might have to pull, it, pull the motor out. Get the sludge out of the oil pan so it don't get sucked up into the oil pump. But I would imagine that any sludge that was down there is already going to sucked up. Alright. Oh, man. Looks like lithium grease. Plus. Yeah, it's still encased in there. Oh. Get back to the boy, he'll take it out. I'll bring that out into the sun. I'm gonna get down. Look at that. That's not good. It's a mess. One good thing is that distributor looks like it's almost new. Look at it. Look how shiny and chromey that is. Hmm. Alright, don't lose that uh, gasket there, buddy. Alright, looks like uh Little race has to take off that water interchanger or housing, whatever they call that, a, a thermostat hole. housing or something. It, it just holds all the hoses together, too. It looked good inside there. There wasn't any, any water, it was all oil, but I think that's supposed to have water, not oil. <laughs> all right. All right. Looks like the race is ready to take the manifold out. Holy Christ! It's like a cave. It does. Look at all that water in there. Not that. The inside of that. Oh yeah. Oh hey, you might want to take huh. this. Uh, take it, take it, Bill. Oh, watch, 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 watch out. Watch stuff. How heavy is this thing? Heavy. Oh man. I got it. It's not heavy. Don't put it up against yourself. Yeah, man. Where are you gonna be put this? Oh, uh, sit on the ground for now. Well, no, I don't sit on the ground. How about the grass? Oh uh, yeah, sit on the grass. Let's yeah. see the bottom of that. Okay. <laughs> It looks like, uh, what do they call them things? Stalactites. Stalactites or stalagmites, whatever they are. Tights. If you turn it upside down, it's a stalagmite. Ah! ah! Sit on Brian's seat. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse and worse, tubes. Alright, we'll see what we have to do. Hopefully, I don't have to pull this bitch out, but it's not looking promising. Yeah, it looks like the other side was okay. You see where Racer's hand is. You say all them ports are running clean, you know, black. But let me uh, let me go over the other side and show you them ports. Yeah, it's tough to see because we don't have much light over here, but uh, these ports are actually rusting. That's how much water's been in there. And don't know how long the water's been, it's been running like this. This guy might have been running this engine on uh, three cylinders for years and not even knowing it. All right. All right, we're gonna take the valve covers off on this side and uh, take the head off. See what's going on. All right, we're ready to take the cover off. We'll see what it looks like. Mm. Oh man, not good. Look at that. It just keeps getting worse and worse, man. Too bad.
bet they ain't some kind of new oil that that is or something. Is that just like, yeah, ah, that's a mess. That's that's been going on for a long time. I think it just happened. Wow. Look at that, buddy. All right, we'll race to loosen all the head bolts. Look at this. Got a, got a geyser coming out of it. Oh, is that what that was? That was a bolt hole was coming out. I didn't know yeah. what that was. Huh. Ready, almost ready to come up, buddy? Yeah, I just gotta find something to put these bolts in. I don't put it on it. Alright. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Maybe not. I lied. I don't think we're ready yet. Nah, we're not ready. We've got so much sludge on it, we can't even tell where all the bolts are at. Alright, I think we're ready now. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Look at them cylinders. That's crazy. Got it, buddy. Got it. Don't, don't be dripping that on you, buddy. I'm trying not to, buddy. Let's see over here. Wow. No gasket left. Yeah, look at that. It's funny. I said the racer. I said it'd be funny. She's a sheet of steel. Yeah. I said it'd be funny. It probably didn't even have a gasket. Sure enough. I don't, even, I don't even see hardly any gasket left. Maybe, hopefully, it's on the back of the on the back of the head. Oh no, there it is. Pull it up, buddy. The back yeah. side was okay. It's the head side that was. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, look, here's right, right there. Right. That's the culprit right there. Big crack. Wow. And there's no gasket material left on this thing. No. That's been like that for a long time. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Hopefully we can salvage it, buddy. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we got this thing ripped down this far. Instead of uh, just doing a half ass, the racer's going to put a new head gasket on this side, too. So it's easy enough to do it since we got the manifold off, the intake manifold, and everything else, and everything's out of the way. So it's just a matter of taking this exhaust out, and taking the head off, and stuff. It's just going to take us a little bit longer. Hey, holding up there, buddy. All right. All right. Oh. Don't. Oh, oh. All right, little race. You got. Uh, he's taking a front engine off now. What is that? Uh, what is that? Pump? Some kind of pump? Yeah. It's almost like a power. Power steering pump. pump. But it uh, steers the drive. But uh, look what else we got here. We got uh, we got our apprentice mechanic working with us too. You, you guys gonna have a run by tonight? Oh, well, big time. We, we gotta get this out on the high seas. We just really turn into a project. It looks like it's all the way. Is that tough to lift out now? We'll probably disconnect the whole thing and take it out. Yeah, get the whole engine out. Huh. Put on the stand. And I'm not liking the water on this side there, Ray. So what happened there? Yeah. Just as bad as the other side was. Yeah, but it's got water in it. Oh, it circulated. Yeah. My bad. Get your dipstick, Jimmy. I know. That's why I got these guys working on it, not me. All right. Keep going, fellas. Get out, Mike. Let's see what we got here. Mike, take the front. He took the front of the engine off here. Oh wow. Sludge. Sludge. More sludge. Wow. That there, Mike. I just cleaned that. You call that clean? That's why I gotta fix everything. This had water in it too, huh? Yeah, as soon as we got in the oil. Oh man. Yeah, this uh, we're gonna pretty much have this thing right down to the block. Alright, here you see. go, buddy. Take care of this. Hand to the kid. I guess you gotta take the pan off now, Mike, because you gotta put this on first. Okay. Here you go, kid. What the hell with the other ones? All right, these guys got a lot. Most of the sludge they had all cleaned out. Now they're just getting to the bath, the diesel bath. They got the whole front of the engine tear apart. The bottom and everything. You see the bottom where it's just, they got to recycle and they got to pour it out. The mic is pumping it back in. There you go, working like that. The little racer, he's uh, painting it up with a brush. So uh, I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was. We still have to clean a lot of parts, but at least this, this major part is going to be clean. 
Hi, right, tubes. It's the next day, and the two guys they uh, they got a lot of work done on this last night. They uh, they got that whole motor tore down, and it looks like we're gonna have to replace the timing chain because that's uh, not only is it rusted but it's loose. So we're gonna replace that. Usually after a an engine night, it takes me about an hour to clean up, you know, because I don't want them guys cleaning up, you know. They they do all the work here, and uh, I don't want them spending their time cleaning up, but. Uh, Usually takes about an hour, you know, to clean up, just to clean the tools and uh, put them back and stuff like that. But this is gonna take me all day on this one because uh, every single tool we got is greasy and dirty and sloppy from the sludge on this thing. Plus, we got all kinds of diesel fuel that we use to clean this, and uh, they did a real good job cleaning this. But uh, we had to use like seven gallons of diesel fuel plus water and degreaser and uh, all kinds of other stuff so let's take a look at that yeah out here we got uh, buckets of gasoline I'm using the gasoline to clean parts but then we uh, got sludge and diesel fuel and and mixed water water and oil and I gotta separate all this and put it in there buckets to dispose of it and stuff like that so I'll, I'll be busy all day with this plus the parts I got parts inside I gotta clean I cleaned all the sludge out of the valve covers but I still have to do the heads here and man these are a mess I don't know if you can see how thick this stuff is man but it's 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 crazy how much uh, sludge is in this so I gotta clean them heads clean the bottom of the intake there Clean all the, the gasket material off of everything. You know, each, each one of these things, so each one of these surfaces all had the gaskets on there and it's all stuck. Even the exhaust. They still got gaskets and here's the thermostat, thermostat housing. It's got a gasket I've got to get off too. There's all the rest of the greasy tools. Yeah. Usually the bigger the mess, the better it is because uh, a big mess means there was a lot of productivity. Got a lot done. So it's not like I'm complaining, I'm glad. I just got a lot of work, a lot of work to do. You guys did a great job with this. I couldn't have done this myself, I know that. So, let me start cleaning this stuff up. It's going to take me all day. Alright, I guess I don't know how long this video is, but... Uh, I'm going to call it, call it an end. All right, see you later.